Hello everyone and welcome to my channel which isn't dead despite me not uploading for multiple months which I do apologize for but today I'm bringing you a little treat and that treat is DeviantArt wonderful wonderful DeviantArt where I spent many many years and I have seen many many things and even said many, many things. Such horrible things. Such regrettable things. So I thought that I would bring you on a journey back in time to my old DeviantArt account, which still exists. Why it still exists, I don't know. Maybe it's for the purpose of this video. But as you can tell for now, we're on my current deviant art, which is oh so fabulous. Not really. But you know, it's a lot better than my old deviant art. Even the name is less cringy. Because, my god, what a cringy username I had. I suppose the best thing to do will be to just get into it and show you the horror. That's my early art from when I was like 15? 14? 15? However old I was in year 8 and 9, I don't remember. So we're just gonna have a cheeky little scroll and there we are. What a marvelous deviant art. So yes, one of my first deviant art accounts was Anime Freaks. F R E E X. Not F R E A K S. Because I was an edgy teenager who didn't follow no rules and that kind of carried on over to pastel zombie because obviously zombie is spelled wrong but hey ho we'll let that slide and over here we've got the cursed H that I used to put at the end of Becca because like I said I was an edgy teenager who didn't follow no rules so let's see what we've got We've got the slightly embarrassing tagline thing. Don't know what any of this is. Just my name, kiss kiss, O free O, because it's a little face. And yeah, we'll just we'll just leave that over there. And of course, we got the art. But let's do a little like reedy bit about me. I was a deviant for nine years, so. And I started this account in 2008. I would have been in year 8 at the time, which would have made me 14, 13, 14. So I suppose the cringy art style is okay. So deviant art ID, anime freaks, Becca with the cursed H. I am an artist, use the term artist very loosely. And I'm from the United Kingdom, current residence, England. Or my bedroom, cat face. My favorite genre of music is Rock. My favorite art style was anime and manga. Kind of obvious in my current art style, but yeah, I would say that's still true. Cartoonish anime, shell of choice, total, total, total. Apparently, teenage Rebecca could not spell. What can you do? Nothing. You can do nothing. Favorite cartoon character. Nana, Lucy from Elf and Lead, which to this day is pretty much true. More so Nana. I love Nana from Elf and Lead. She didn't deserve any of it. She was the best character, the cutest character, and it was just sad what happened to her. But she kind of got a happy ending in the manga. Lucy and New, yeah. Yeah, I do like the characters of Lucy and New, especially in the manga. Um, as you can probably see from the uh, the icon envy is god i was one of those people i was like obsessed obsessed with like one or two characters from a show and they would be like my babies and i would like love them and they would be my favorite and envy was just one of them greed kimberly and ed who doesn't like ed ed is the best character the best character in my opinion so 13, 14, 15 year old Rebecca's interests. Favorite artist, Lynn Okamoto and Hiromu Akawara. Lynn Okamoto is the mangaka, I believe that's the correct term, for Elton Lead. 
and Hiromo Akawara is the mangaka for Full Metal Alchemist. Favorite movies? Well, I like horrors. Dot dot dot. So horror films, XDD. Gotta get that in. But this here is still true. Horror films are still my favorite genre of movie. And they always have and probably always will be. Favorite bands or musical artists? Within Temptation. Pointy up, pointy up, no actual like face in the middle. Could have put it like a W. I suppose I don't actually have a favorite one. I like what I like, and I don't like what I don't like. Tools of the trade. Um, pencil and colors and rubbers and such. Let's just address this here. <clears throat> Over in the United Kingdom, erasers are called rubbers. Rubbers are not something else. Rubbers are erasers. The things you use to erase and rub out pencil. End of story. My other interests were drawing, reading, hanging with friends 8D cuz it's a happy face. I still like drawing, obviously. If that wasn't obvious then, you know, maybe I should draw more. Reading Reading is something I'm trying to get back into, but I just can't seem to do it. I think I get bored too easily and distracted by things. Hanging with friends. I think I must have been more sociable when I was younger because I enjoy hanging with friends. Don't get me wrong. I got older, I've kind of started to enjoy the peace and quiet. I mean, I guess all of these are still kind of true. Moving on from the deviant ID. Look, there's me. I suppose we should probably just get on to the main body of this video, which is the art. Which is the thing I am most embarrassed by. But I guess you gotta start somewhere. I, when I was younger, really liked Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And I still, to this day, love that game. It is my favorite Legend of Zelda game. Personally, in my opinion, it's the best. It's cute. So when did I draw this? I drew this October 9th, 2009. It's not the worst drawing in this gallery by far. And at the time I drew this, I was really impressed with it. This was like the pinnacle of what I could achieve. This was the best and most difficult thing I could do. It's done in pencil. It's got very jacket lines. So we'll, that's all I'll say about that. So obviously we've got, in this picture, we've got Link, we've got the little fairies from the fairy fountains, we've got the... those fairies, and we've got these fairies. The greyish fairy behind Link, the one who like grants you all your like bomb bags and increased rupee pouches and I think that's what she does, I don't remember. She was my favourite, I loved her so much. She was probably my first ever waifu, let's be honest. But yeah, I don't know, maybe I can redraw it. Redrawing it could be good. Let us hop on back. And we have, we have a cow. We have a cow. I wonder if I could, I wonder if I could draw her again. Nope. No, I can't. Obviously, that's not how arms cover boobs. My art has not stood the test of time. We all start somewhere. And I started here. I chose bad names for my original character. I chose really bad names and really strange names. So here we have Diamond. She has white hair. I think I remember drawing this. I was actually very proud of this drawing. It's just a girl in a silver dress, which I colored in with metallic silver gel pen because I was a savage kid and she's got gold boots on and gold eyeliner and she's got gold metallic gel pen knee-high boots I still draw shoes like this so I've not particularly improved there we can just enjoy the wonders fair to say I enjoyed making original characters a lot of these characters that I've made would probably be considered Mary Sueish. But, you know, we've all got to start somewhere. And I started here. I just wasn't the best 
at anatomy, which I'm still not, but I do what I want. Now, obviously, it's not a big gallery, because this was not my first DeviantArt account. I do believe I had one before this, and then the one after this, which are both now gone, so there's no in-between art. If I had access to my in-between art, I probably would show that to you as well, because it's all about progression. Let's just see from 2011 how I would create a journal. So, we got hello! Hello, my friends of anime freaks. If you still remember me and love me, then perhaps you can pop by my new account and perhaps watch me. I'm sorry, please. I mean, I mean, me no getty luffles. And you'll get a llama badge and a watch in return? La. So, 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 I am now the zombified owl, which is now deactivated, thank God. So please, 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 la. Yours truly, Becca, Anime Freaks, Zombie Owlet. For those of you who don't know, Zombie Owlet was my online name before I changed it to Pastel Zombie. So that's always fun. Let's go back to the less cringy part of my deviant art history. And we'll go back here. Go back to my lovely, lovely deviant art. That will be it for this video. But we'll end on a positive. A positive that you do get better. It does happen. I mean, I'm not great. But I'm certainly not bad, like what I was all those years ago. Your art starts somewhere, so don't feel too bad about it. It's okay. My art's still improving, and will probably improve until the day I die. I ain't, prof I ain't a professional artist. I just do it for fun. And on that note, I'm gonna end the video there. And let's hope I get back into making more content. Because my channel is just a little bit quiet at the moment. Goodbye, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye! Read this whole thing. It's so dang true. One. At least two people in this world love you so much, they would die for you. Two. At least 15 people in this world love you in some way. Three. The only reason anyone would ever hate you is because they want to be just like you. 4. A smile from you can bring happiness to anyone, even if they don't like you. 5. Every night someone thinks about you before they go to sleep. 6. You mean the world to someone. 7. If not for you, someone may not be living. 8. You are special and unique. Nine. Someone that you don't even know exists loves you. Ten. When you make the biggest mistake ever, something good comes out of it. Eleven. When you think the world has turned its back on you, take a look and you most likely turned your back on the world. Twelve. When you think you have no chance of getting what you want, you probably won't get it. But if you believe in yourself, probably, sooner or later, you will get it. 13. Always remember the compliments you received. Forget about the rude remarks. 14. Always tell someone how you feel about them. You will feel much better when they know. 15. If you have a great friend, take the time to let them know that they are great. Add this as a comment to ten of your friends tonight, and at midnight, your true love will find you. Something good will happen to you at 2.25 tomorrow. Get ready for the biggest shock of your life. Whoever breaks this chain letter will be cursed with a ten relationship problems for the next ten years. Tag, you're it. This is so scary. Send this to 15 people in the next 143 min and then press F6 and your crush's name will appear in big letters. 
It's so scary. Because it works. But if you break the chain, you will be. So.